Ah, fishing. The exhilarating activity of tossing worms and other critters into a pond in hopes of reeling back in some chum. Hated by some and loved by others, fishing is undoubtedly the most integral part of Fire Emblem Three Houses. In this video, I will be making a definitive, 100% reliable tier list for the different colored fish you can catch at the monastery. By the way, if you're new, please subscribe. If you end up hating the remainder of this video, you can always unsubscribe. Anyway, let's cast our reels and dive right into this tier list. Wait, 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 that's not the right Nintendo game where your character is fishing. No, 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 that's not it either. I, I've never even played this game. Ah, uh, okay, that's better. Starting off with the small blue fry, in other words, your everyday friendly Joe. Sometimes this yields the Aramid Gobi or Caledonian Crayfish, which, you know, makes some foods that aren't too tasty. But you know, the rest of the fish gives some quality meals that give you access to fan favorite supports. Wait, no, not that one. Anyway, you are going to get two additional instructs from these fish, and in terms of ranking, they also get a huge bonus because of their availability, which we know is very important in Fire Emblem tier lists, putting them at a very high C tier. If I could, I'd put them between Swimmingly Fantastic and C level tier, but there's only six different colors of fish, and at that point, I'd have more tiers than colors. Moving on, next we have the big opaque blue Waddle D. Big bubbly bromothymal blue bubbler. Easily swimmingly fantastic. Look, if you're playing three houses for its story, in other words, if you're part of the cool kids club, you got a gun for this fish. Dark blue exclusively yields quality fish for dining, which means not only do you get to build up those juicy supports, you also don't have to worry about dealing with those childish picky eaters. Isn't that right, Hanneman? This stinker. This whippersnapper is enough to win Flames Tournament, which is a plus. However, this also applies to the rest of the fish on this list. When you catch it, you feel accomplished and satisfied, but it's really just a psychological trick. Normal fishing, as in not Flames Tournament, leads to three different fish, all of which you can buy from the Dark Merchant which you get in part 2. All of those fish can be cooked into minor stat boosts of dexterity, speed, or defense. Cooking can sometimes be useful in maddening, but in most cases an extra point in speed or defense is not as valuable as two extra instructs you can get from a meal. Even if you do enjoy cooking, there's no reason to stock up on red fish after you've pulled a few because, like most professors, you're gonna spend more time eating. But Justin... Redfish are so good for grinding professor experience. Look, for it to make that much of a difference, you'd have to sit there, grinding, for hours. I'm trying to save your sanity and help you enjoy the game, man. And even if you do enjoy fishing, keep in mind that fishing the blues would actually force you to fish even more to obtain max professor rank. What's that? Sorry, Leone, I accidentally tossed all of your redfish back into the pond. Looks like we're only bringing the blues back. Ooh, mysterious purple fish. So mysterious that it's called the strange fish. The strange fish is needed for a supply run, which only gives you renown and, oh, of course, a fishing float. Even though we love to appease Edith, I'd rather feed him. Totally not to build up more muscle. I, uh, just want to motivate him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer into sea level tier. These fish, they, they just give you gold. It's not terrible, and in some cases, getting lucky with a couple of shimmery shiny fish at the beginning of the game can set you up nicely to purchase some moderately pricey battalions or maybe some extra weapons. Later on, though, you'll probably find yourself swimming in gold, making the golden fish pretty insignificant. Bonus points for looking cool, though. I mean, how could you not feel satisfied when catching one of these shinies? Rainbow fish. Not only can the rainbow fish win Flames Tournament or complete the strenuous tutorial, it can also yield a goddess messenger. This son of a gun can be cooked into a dish like the redfish. What's that you're asking? Which stats does it boost? Oh, just dexterity, speed, and defense, you know, the equivalent of three redfish. But you know, I get that that fish might not be exactly the one you're looking for. For instance, I've seen some people slap it on the online market and, <laughs> you know, get j just a couple of rewards. I guess some people are always looking for some hot local goddess messengers near them. Bada bing! 
bada boom. That's going to wrap it up for my 100% undeniably gameplay oriented tier list. Be sure to let me know how you'd rank the fish in the comments below. Hopefully you haven't unsubscribed by now and <laughs> well if you happen to enjoy this video, leave it a like. That's it for me, I gotta run to the marketplace and fetch myself some new bait. I'll catch you later.